God lives and works today. We can see His power at work in the lives of His followers. But perhaps you're thinking, I'm a Christian and my life doesn't have any power. I'm no testimony at all to the life and power of God. Today's meditation by Basilea Ischlink will share how that can all be changed. Our lives can be changed and should be changed through the creative working of the Holy Spirit, who as the Spirit of life makes dead hearts come alive. He calls into existence what does not yet exist. As the power from on high, He fills people's hearts with the fire of divine love and remolds them even today. Once there was a minister who, according to human standards, was very well known and successful. But one day the Spirit of God opened his eyes. Terrified, he saw his lukewarmness, the spiritual death in himself and others around him. It can't stay this way, he thought. He waited on God in prayer, and after a whole night of prayer God answered. The power from on high was to come upon him. But even more, he was to be entrusted with counseling the leading men of his country. The next morning, the mayor of the city met him on the street. They began to talk about all the things that were wrong. What should we do, the minister asked the mayor. Well, for instance, you could take care of people like me, was his answer. The minister then told him about his experience the night before and the commission which the Spirit of God had given him. A few minutes later he was given some office rooms. Shortly after that, nineteen of the leading men of that city began to study the Bible together. It changed their whole life. That was the beginning of a worldwide movement which was to bring leaders from all walks of life to know Jesus and to place their lives under the dominion and power of the Holy Spirit. Is this something only a few people can experience? No, the way is open to everyone. It's the way of asking and entreating. Every child can do this. Yes, Jesus tells us this quite plainly. And he gives us a promise as solid as a rock, as we read in Luke 11, verse 13. How much more will the Heavenly Father give the Holy Spirit to those who ask him? But first, the Holy Spirit must come to us as a Holy Spirit, as the Spirit of Truth, who brings our unrecognized sins to light and leads us to repentance. Give me your light and do not let it spare me. Show me my sin and to repentance grant me, then I'll be free. Whoever lets himself be cleansed in this way will receive the blessed power and gifts of the Holy Spirit. Yes, the Holy Spirit can perform miracles of transformation in our lives. He can make fiery, powerful witnesses and prayers out of us. And through us, the great deeds of God can take place. Therefore, let us open our hearts and pray. Come, Holy Spirit. Come as the Spirit of Truth. Come upon me as the power from on high. You've been listening to a program written by Basilea Schlink of the Little Land of Canaan. If this program has been a help to you, we would be happy to send you a free leaflet by the same author. Please write to God Lives and Works Today, 9849 North 40th Street, Phoenix, Arizona, 85028-4099. That's God Lives and Works Today, 9849 North 40th Street. Phoenix, Arizona, 85028-4099. God bless you.